Welcome, Sainers. Welcome to the round 20 match preview on the Saints TV YouTube channel. It's a big game. It's a big game. We take on the Bombers, who are very, very nervous and just hanging on to their top eight dreams after a loss to the to the Crows last week in probably game of the year, to be honest. For us, we got the job done very, very nicely against the Eagles. A big win, big confidence booster, and we come into this game with some optimism, I think. I don't look at this game with a great deal of fear. Essendon, I think despite their losses recently, have actually been pretty good. They've been fairly consistent for the majority of the season. And they would have beaten a lot of teams last week. The way they played, kicking over 113 points. Fun fact, both teams kicked exactly the same score, goals and behinds, going into this game. When was the last time that happened? Um, we lose Liam Henry. That's, that's the most disappointing thing because this is a game, I think, for players like Liam Henry. The outside players, the running and gunning players, and we've lost him, which is really disappointing. In terms of returning players, Caminiti is a test. He's listed as a test, so there's every chance that Caminiti could come in. Obviously, Seb Ross is out long term. Brad Crouch is out long term. Marcus Windhager is out. Mateus Filippo, one to two weeks away. On top of obviously Liam Henry, Max King, James Manez, Jack Hayes, Max Hall who are all season and TBC. So it doesn't leave a lot of wiggle room when it comes to the ins and outs this week. And for the Bombers, they could regain Darcy Parrish, which is fairly big. Matt Guelphie is out. And Jai Caldwell, uh, he had his head knock against the Crows, but he's gone through the concussions and there's no symptoms and he should be fine for the game. So Jai Caldwell could play. A big part in this game. Midfield battle is huge. Obviously, Essendon have got a fairly strong midfield. They've got, obviously, Zach Merritt, who's been in very, very impressive form this season. And he's going to be the main sort of driver. Um, and the thing that he's added to his game is obviously more goals. 12 to 13 goals he's kicked this season already. Um, you know, which is fairly solid for a midfielder. Nearly one every so games. And um, our midfield's going to have to be on. On top there, Jack Steele um, through there. Hunter Clark's been finding form. And Paddy Dow potentially is the big one that could return this week. He had a good game in the VFL last week. And we are missing Liam Henry. And I think we do need some midfield strength to go with Essendon. Obviously, McGrath is going to go through there. And you've got Parrish and uh, Caldwell who will play. Um, Ashley McGrath and Draper in the ruck. So they... They bat deep there, and obviously I haven't even mentioned him, but Sam Durham has been very, very good this season. Uh, probably an underrated type player um, on top of, obviously, the stars there. And Nick Martin on the wing, who's been very good all season. And Langford forward, who, you know, he's not the biggest guy going around, but he's kicked, a, I think, nearly 35, 36 goals this season, so he's going to be a main target for them. And I don't think we need to go into this game with any major sort of change to our approach from last week. I think I think a shootout is, is on the cards here, to be honest. I think, um, you know, similar sort of game to the Brisbane game, to, um, to the Sydney game, to a lesser extent. And Essendon are used to that. And I think Essendon are going to see... They could go one of two ways with Essendon. Last week could really break them and it could really just frustrate them and they just won't be the same. Or it'll galvanize them. They'll be really pissed off and this is their proper final. And if they win this, they 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 could believe in, in a final's birth. And on the flip side for us, I think the approach would be we can stuff them up. We can stuff Essendon up. We can stuff Geelong up. Every team we play from here on in, um, you know, maybe not so much Richmond, but every other team, there's a big chance that we could have a massive say in whether they make top four or top eight alone. So I think our boys are going to be up for it. I think that we're building some confidence, some level of um, consistency in our game. Our last month has actually been not bad outside of obviously the Adelaide game. That's a bit bit different when you look at it 
um, and sort of the situation that it was in, the conditions. But we're under the roof. And the Bombers have been very good under the roof. They've been very quick. Um, they play a very attacking style of football. And they kick goals. So our defense is going to have to be on point. Their forward line, if you think about it, is pretty similar to ours at this point, where it's a lot of medium size. They don't really have major targets unless Draper goes there and rests there. Maybe Nick Cox can drift there with his height. Um, but for the majority of the time, it's it's kind of more the stringers that we need to worry about. And it's taken me a while to mention his name, but it's probably because I'm in denial and I just I have nightmares about Jake Stringer. But last time we played them, he was kind of the match winner at the end, wasn't he? He kind of started slow like them and we couldn't put them away. And he woke up, took the game by the scruff of the net and kicked a long bomb and sealed it pretty much. So Jake Stringer is going to be a major, major um, weapon for them in this game. And I'm just curious as to who might take him. You know, who's got the size? Who's got the speed? Who's got the power? You know, do we put a battle onto Stringer? Do we... Stocker, can he go to Stringer? Like, uh, Jimmy Webster, is he good for Stringer? I just don't know, because Stringer's a lot bigger and taller than people think. And he's a very, very dangerous player when he gets up and going. And, you know, he's a sort of player that he's been down for a while. He didn't really do amazing things last week. What did he do last week? One goal, nine disposals. So he's due for a big one this week. You, you just knew that was going to happen. Um, but he's very much a confidence player. So if we let him into the game early, they're going to be up and about. And if we can stop that flow from the midfield in particular, then we can probably get the game going on our terms the other way. Because Tim Membry's found form. He generally loves to play well against Essendon. Cooper Sharman looking good. Um, Machida Owens even found some form. We might even bring in Caminiti, whether he plays forward or back. If he does play, I don't know. But we've got we've got the tools there. Jack Steele is starting to find form. Sinclair is starting to find form. Um, so a lot of our top end players, Marshall, they're all finding some of their best form of the season at the right time. I mean, probably too little too late for us, but it's still the right time that you would want to be peaking if you were making a run for finals. So... Ladder position aside, I think we're a lot better suited to play um, Essendon now than maybe we were th four or five weeks ago. I think our style of football now is much more suited to taking on an Essendon who like to play that sort of um, high uncontested game, end-to-end -end style of football. Maybe not the most contested style game, um, but that's what I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to a bit of a shootout. I don't think we're going to go into this defensive. I think we're going to go into this and take the game on. And I think that'll be our approach pretty much from here on in for the rest of the season, regardless of who we're playing and the form they're in. So it's going to it's going to be a massive game. Like, you know, Essendon need to sew up top, top eight. And we need to... Um, we don't need to, but we'll want to stuff that up as much as we can. And there's a lot of teams. Pretty much, actually, most of Australia would be going for us in this game. Um, minus Essendon fans. <laughs> You'd think about it. You know, everyone wants to see Essendon drop out and choke. And um, there's teams under us. The Bulldogs, um, in particular Hawthorne, they're going to be looking closely at this game. Because if they need to get into the eight, if they want to get into the eight, there's teams like Essendon that need to come out. So, I like what I saw last week. Although it was against West Coast, I do think that the template there... For this game, um, it, it could definitely benefit us and we can hopefully hurt Essendon. I think Essendon have proven that although they do kick goals, they are very prone to fades in games and letting a string of goals be kicked on them very, very quickly. That's what happened against um, Adelaide. They got up, they let them kick seven. They got up again, they let Adelaide kick the last three or four of the game very quickly to win it. So momentum is a big thing in Essendon games in particular. Um, so if we can stay with them, if we can get some momentum, there's going to be opportunities in this game to kick goals. So if we're clean with the football, our entries are clean, um, we do get enough clearances and we mitigate the power of Merritt, then I think we're a big chance. I think Merritt's the driver and I think if he gets going, then it's going to be a hard task. But if we can manage him as best as we can, um, then we'll be okay. And it's going to be a great game. It's it's a 50-50 game in my eyes and hopefully a big crowd Saturday afternoon, 4.35 p.m. It's our home game as well. Um, hopefully we turn up and put on a bit of a show. So obviously I'm a little bit nervous. Um, I always am going into games, uh, especially when 
there's a chance that this team, you know, Essendon can come out guns blazing and, and make a statement. But I've, I've seen enough in the last month to, to like what we're doing. And I think we can cause some problems in this game, especially if Essendon turn it over as they did against Adelaide and, and open the door for us. Um, as many times as they did for Adelaide, because I think we're starting to find a little bit more of a ruthless edge in front of goal, and we're kicking easier goals. It looks easier. Um, so hopefully another a goal fest and another exciting game that we can get the win in. So thanks, Sainers. Comment your thoughts, and uh, I'll see you after the game on Saturday night, hopefully to talk about a win. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your week, and as always, go you mighty Sainers. See you guys.